What is up guys, this is Lentio coming here today with a discussion and a kind of, you could say pointless and selfish discussion, but uh, today I'm talking about holo cards, well cards that I think that should be given a holo print and maybe like an OTS or something like that, uh, that have never been given a holo print ever in the entire history of the game. So we all know that hollows, when and when I say hollows, it's like super rare, ultra rare, secret rare, and then you know the obvious ultimate rares that all exist in OTS packs now. Um, it's always just to do with preference, and a lot of the time it's to do with does the card deserve it? Does the card deserve to get uh, you know uh, some form of print? I think one of the most cried out for cards that was printed in a high rarity or reprinted in a high rarity I mean, it was a little while ago now was swap frog it was swap frog swap frog was basically one of the most ridiculous commons out there because it was so powerful it brought whole archetype and deck together and it just never got that print and we all expected it to be super rare we thought a super rare would be a great one to put in hey we just got ultimate rare so that was great but ones that i think should really be reprinted in foil. I've got five of them for you right now. So the first one I'm going to start off with an old one, and this is something that I felt was always just a miss. It's, Konami just missed the boat with this, and there's there's a reason why, uh, because it was released after the originals, but it's Herald of Orange Light. I think Herald of Orange Light not being a ultimate rare uh, back in the day was just such a mind-blowingly stupid thing to do. You have Herald of Orange Light, you have a Herald of Green Light, and you have Herald of Purple Light. Herald of Green and Purple, which negate Spell and Traps, they they were Ultimate Rare, they were Rare and Ultimate Rare, no problem. Then the next set that came out, the Ultimate Rares went from, well, they reduced the amount of Ultimate Rares. I think it went from 25 to 12 or something around that number. Herald of Orange Light wasn't, unfortunately, one of those. It was a Rare, but it wasn't a Ultimate Rare. Uh, and that gave the card a massive de justice because it has popped up now with uh, with more use with, for example, Eva that has uh, come out in the structure deck, that people have started to put Herald of Orange Light, Herald of Green Light, Herald of Purple Light in their deck, but majoritarily orange. I'm not saying that it should be an ultimate rare in the OTS, but that would be pretty nice. It'd be just nice to have a, finally a place at the ultimate rares of all of them, because it really does do it injustice. The card, as I said, has picked up now, and a lot more people are starting to play it, so I think it's only fair that it is brought out as an ultimate rare or at least a super rare in the OTS packs coming out very, very soon. Another one that has been used in the meta quite heavily right now is Eater of Millions. Eater of Millions, I think, would just be a perfect card to put in the super rare section of the OTS pack. It's a brilliant card right now. As I said, being used in the meta, being used in a multitude of decks, and honestly, it makes no sense not to include it. The card is very easy to get really, it is a common so there's no real two ways about that but it's just more the fact of as I said earlier in the opening it's doing the card service, doing it justice to be able to give it that bump in rarity because it certainly does deserve it. Such a powerful card effect as well, I think just on terms of looking at the card itself, it deserves it. But because of its popularity, because of what the OTS pack should be, I think the OTS pack should be a fairly competitive based pack where Konami would look at the pack themselves and then decide on what meta cards would they would put in it basically if there are any rarity bumps or if there are any reprints of important cards that are hard to get they should be put in there and no I'm not on about Osh and no I'm not on about Ash Blossom because that was just reprinted regardless of what you want to say it's not going to be in there. Next up an old favourite of mine and I remember when this card was coming out uh, before we knew the rarity I called it, said that the whole engine's going to be common. I said, I put my hands up and uh, one of the Brotherhood members, I think it was Vass, I said this to before it came out. I said, just watch Trick Clan be a common. Lo and behold, it was a common. And it was such a powerful engine, such an easily accessible, ra accessible rank 4 um, toolbox engine that was just so mind-blowingly good for the era that we were in and Trick Clown just started an entire revolution and changed the way that we kind of worked a little bit and kind of just 
played the game and what was open to us and what was optional for us. So I think Trick Clan definitely deserves a super rare and like an OTS pack or something. Like, the cards are just so good. It's still so good. And the fact that Damage Juggler, we, you know, we've got it back now is really nice. I still love rank 4 toolbox decks. They're just so much fun. There's just so much fun you can do with it, especially if I use like the heroic challenges. Um, because using extra sword to give it an extra thousand is just so nice. Obviously that's been slightly curved with the fact that we have things like the uh, links, but you know, I'm sure I will come up with something in the future. So we will just have to, but Trick Line is definitely one that deserves it. Just just its pedigree that it had in the meta, you know, the, the, the competitive status that that card went on to do, um, and just everything, I think it's just a perfect fit. I think it can very easily be super rare in the OTS packs. So one that I'm gonna be entirely selfish about, doesn't necessarily need it or warrant it, but I want it, is King of the School Servant. How King of the School Servant hasn't just for novelty sake been given a, a you know, a ultra rare, ultimate rare, super rare, secret, whatever type of print, how that hasn't been done, how any of the right or right cards haven't, I don't know. Now, before you say anything, I know that School Servant, the original School Servant, was printed as an ultra rare in the um, legendary collection. I think one of the very first ones. Um, and that's great, but the card bends so much, I just can't use it. Um, but King of School Servant is where it's at. You could make a case, an argument to say that like Lady in the White is also one, or White Mare or White Prince that brings the whole archetype together could also be up there. And I agree. So if Konami would like to make a you know pack to do that, I'm completely fine with that. Maybe I have to like top a, or win a YCS or Worlds to do that. I wonder, can we can we maybe get someone from Konami to make that agreement with me and I'll do my best to do it because that would be hilarious, right? Or maybe that's just my prize card if I win Worlds with, with School Servants. They just give me an ultimate rare King of School Servant and that's it. Or a placer if I've gone that far. Somehow, I don't think that's going to happen. However, I can, I can, I can dream. And I know that actually School Servant is actually a very popular deck these days, you know, or the right or white cards are actually very popular um, obviously since grass was uh, limited it kind of did fall off the bandwagon a lot because that version was just so good and powerful and quick and too fast too quick type thing um, and it has slightly fallen off the boat now I'm not saying that the deck is completely uh, bad now there's actually a lot of indirect support coming out for it and I will be doing a video on that much how I did a counter fairy video on how to play it uh, and the options available and also there will be um, there will be, what's the word I am looking for? There will be deck profiles coming out soon, but um, you know, I've just been a little bit busy, but that is just going off on a tangent because we're gonna talk about the final one. And this one, I think is a no brainer. This card should be at least a super rare. I am gobsmacked that it even came out as a common in its original core set. And that is Uni Zombie. Uni Zombie is just one of those cards that included engines. It, it redefined a lot of the way that we play. It's such a devastatingly good card for just zombies. And even then, it's still used with other decks. It's not just primarily used in zombie decks, it's used in decks where, for example, um, there was one going around in the, I think it was the 60 card versions not too long ago, saying how you would have uh, Shiran Yui, um, solitaire, you would have a uni zombie, you would have a mizuki, and you would basically have a little mini engine because basically a solitaire was a one card level 8. And it still is. It's still also a uh, one card rank, or you can say link 2 as well, um, because you still have the mizuki, or the sorry, the solitaire that comes out eventually with the mizuki banish, and a uni zombie. So with bloodsucker coming out as well, which is vampire bloodsucker, the new zombie link. That's a possible potential play right there. So there is still so many good things for Uni Zombie, and it does deserve, probably more than any of these that I've said, it deserves the pedigree bump that I think we all wish for. Because surprisingly, I was having a look around just to see what other people's opinions were, and this is a topic that always comes up. Um, so I did a little bit of research, and you know, there are a lot of them out there, but yeah, Uni Zombie was right up there. Um, and I think that it's important to note that just how much of an impact this card had when it came out. I remember looking for this card so much. 
and getting so many off everyone uh, just because I knew it was going to be good. And hey, it was because, well, mainly I wanted it for school servants because it was just so broken for that deck and just any zombie deck in general. But I do have to give some honorable mentions. You know, there are some pretty good ones out there. I think one of the most recent Link Monsters that a lot of people want that is quite a generic integral part to a couple of strategies is I think it's Underclock Taker. I think that one came out as a common. That probably should be a super rare in one of the new OTS packs. Don't see why not. Then you can go on and have a laugh and a joke about some vanillas certainly do need to be uh, you know, foiled out. It would be nice if there were some. I think legendary collections are perfect for that, making some uh, foils as ultra rare, which we have in some of the legendary, well, the most recent legendary collection, and they kind of do it in every other one. So I think it is a good place to do like that. But honorable mentions, as, as I said, clocked uh, Undertaker is, or uh, Taker is a pl pretty good one for that. And there are just honestly so many, it goes down to people's personal preference. And that's it, that's all it is at the end of the day. We don't even need foil. Uh, Prince, if you really want to say it like that, and I know most people or some people down in the comment section are just going to say, I don't care about foils, it means nothing to me. If everything was common, that would be great. Well, sure, that's fine, that's your opinion, but I like shiny things. I'm like a crow. Give me the shiny things. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. List me your five, and just five, because I know there are so many. I actually had a big struggle trying to just pick out five, and there were the five I picked, just to be fair and not completely selfish. But uh, the, the five that I think should have uh, foil prints uh, imminently, very soon. Um, and I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As I said, give me your five. So that is it. Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe. And I should catch you guys later.